If you're thinking about getting your ham radio license or you're in the middle of studying and just want a couple more resources to help you pass that test and ensure you get that passing grade, you can get that exam done and get your call sign, I have some resources here that I'm going to give to you for free right now on Ham Radio for Non-Techies. You're studying for your test or you're thinking about studying to take the, the uh, ham radio exams, but you're kind of getting stuck on where to start, what to, you know, what to look for, what kind of things to go after. Well, I think I've solved that problem for you. I built a website called hamradiofornontechies.com that you can go and check out, and it's full of resources on the front page, most of which are free. Let's go check them out. Okay, so we're on the front page of the site here. And I've got a lot of pages you can go in here and look at, but right now I really just want to focus on the uh, study stuff to get you passing your test. So we come down here. The first section is for if you're taking your technician. I have three books that I recommend here. The uh, Amateur Radio, The Easy Way. We have Gordon West's books. And we, of course, have the ARRL uh, study guides. Now, the, f the far left one here, the uh, getting your test the easy way, or getting your technician test the easy way, this only gives you the questions and answers to memorize. It does not give a whole lot of background about why things work and how things work. So if you're having a hard time retaining information, this is a supplement that will help you to pass the test, but it's not going to give you a whole lot of in-depth understanding of what you're doing in ham radio. For that, I would definitely suggest the Gordon West books or the ARRL book. The next section is for your general. If you want to take your general test, same three book or same three books and same three authors, but uh, it's pretty much the same thing. You got the first book here, The Easy Way, which gives you all the questions and answers that you have to memorize. And the second books give you more in-depth insights into the hows and whys of ham radio. The last section here is for those who want to move on to the, vi the final test and take your amateur extra. Same three books, links, you click on the image to purchase the books, and it'll help me out a little bit if you guys do buy the books through my affiliate links on Amazon. But wait, there's more. If you want online resources, I have the three top online resources that are free to give you practice tests, flashcards, question pools, and study modes for taking your test that'll work in conjunction with the books. The questions are, are universal throughout all the tests. So any, any of these uh, sites here, qrz.com is really good for just the, doing the exams. And there's other things you'll want to use with QRZ once you get your uh, call sign and actually become a member. Hamexam.org is another great place to get uh, practice tests for all three exams, as well as flashcards and access to the question pool. And my favorite, of course, is hamstudy.org, which is put out by Signal Stuff. They have the practice test for all the all three exams, but in addition, it's this thing called study mode. And what study mode does is it allows you to answer all the questions in a pool, and they're all randomly chosen. If you get one wrong, it'll move on to the next question, and probably maybe even a second or third question. Then it'll bring that other question back in to see if you remember what the what the correct answer was. So it's a great way to study. It helps out a lot of people to study for their their ham licenses. The final thing here is if you want apps for your phone and take practice tests on your phone, also have access to the question pool. And I believe there might be some kind of a study mode kind of thing on these. Uh, these hand practice test apps are fantastic. I have uh, links here for both Android and iOS for all three tests, and I highly recommend you guys go check them out. So hamradiofornontechies.com is now a great resource for you to find and study and get all the materials you need to pass your ham license exam. With that being said, guys, I'm out of here. I did not want to make a really long video. If you like this video or found it informative, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video in particular, please give it a thumbs up as that helps out with the YouTube algorithm and sends more people my way that might be interested in learning more about ham radio and or getting their license as well. With that, guys, have a great day. This is Ham Radio for Non-Techies, and thank you for watching.